This is Eddie Cox with Malgus, and this video will go through how to tack your Malgus 14. The most important thing to remember when tacking your Malgus 14 is just to be smooth. No matter how much you can roll or can't roll, being smooth through your tack is the most important thing. What we're going to do is break down this clip into a couple sections to help you improve your tacking. So the first step to a great tack in your Malgus 14 is to move into the center of your boat and steer just a little bit to start to head your boat up into the wind. This will allow you to take any forward momentum you had and shoot the breeze to gain distance up um, the race course. As we can see here, uh, the sailors moved into the boat a little bit and started to steer just a little bit into their tack. At this point of your tack, you can see the front of the sail has started to loft just a little bit and we can see that the sailor has moved his tiller hand just a little bit harder. It's basically where you're, you know, you're just starting to drive a little bit harder through the tack. At this point in the tack, you want to turn your knees and grab your weather hiking strap. Then once the sail has backwinded, that's when you actually pull on your weather hiking strap, move your shoulders out a little bit, and give the boat a roll. The transition to the other side of the boat is really important. The first step to this is letting the boom cross you and not crossing the boom. So as we can see, this sailor waits for the boom to cross him before he goes and crosses the boat. He then puts his foot onto the board box to help him cross the boat, and he grabs the weather rail with his tiller hand, which also helps him pull himself to the weather side of the boat. He then does a behind the back pass. And as you can see, by putting your, your front foot onto the board box, you're immediately under, underneath the hiking strap, which is really important and really helps you, you know, lock into the boat and flatten the boat out after your tack. As he flattens, he eases about two to three feet of main sheet. This helps you flatten, and it also sets your sail up for the change in apparent wind. So because you're flattening the boat, the apparent wind uh, is coming a little bit more from the side. So you need to ease your sail out to adjust for that change in apparent wind. So he flattens the boat out, and then once he's back flat, he moves back into the center of the boat, and he trims in slightly. So let's watch another tack here, and we can kind of see all these aspects come together. Now we're going to look at a medium to heavy air tack. This tack's really similar to your light air tack. It's just a quicker move across the boat and a little bit harder flatten. So let's take a look from inside the cockpit here. Uh, we can see this sailor's fully hiked out, sailing upwind. One of the big differences between this heavy air tack and a light air tack is just your initial tiller movement and movement into the boat. So let's watch as this tailor, or sailor turns into the tack and they move their tiller just a little bit and wait, they're waiting for the front of their sail to luff. So once your sail begins to luff, at this point in the video, you can see they've turned a little bit harder and they started to move into the boat. So he waits on the leeward side and he waits for the boom to cross him. You can see at this point, the boom's crossing his back and his rear is still on the rail of the boat. At this point in the tech, he's reached up for the high side with his tiller extension hand, and this will help him pull himself to the windward side of the boat. So this is a very important tip. Grab the weather rail with your tiller extension. It'll really help you get to the high side. So we can see at this point, just, in your, just like in your light air tack, you want to get your front foot to find your board box as soon as possible. So what this will do is allow you to basically just turn your foot right into the hiking strap and be hiking right away out of the tack. He comes out of the tack and he's in a full out hike right away. He does a little bit of a main sheet ease to allow himself to get back onto his proper heel angle, but not as much as you would do in a light air tack. Because a heavier tack, your goal is really just to get on your sailing angle as soon as possible. You're not trying to gain any speed with kinetics out of your tack. So let's watch one more tack from the sailor and see it in real time speed. The techniques that you use tacking the Malgus 14 are really applicable to any Malgus boat or really any boat in general that you sail. Shooting the breeze, a small amount of turn at the beginning of your tack, a little bit of harder turn at the second part of your tack, how you cross the boat with your knees facing forward and your body facing the front of the boat. All these are really important tips that you can take to any boat that you sail. 
you have any questions on this video, please feel free to reach out to us here at Amalgus. We're happy to help, and we're happy to help you get out sailing in Amalgus 14 if you're interested.